welcome back everybody to the video series dedicated show on Bravo that really believes that there is a strong bond, a strong connection between Australians and Canadians. How? I don't know. That's right, I'm talking about Below Deck Mediterranean Season 4, Episode 13. And in this episode, we find out that it's jellyfish season in France. Travis is upset because he's losing his bunk buddy, and Colin stays. That's right, uh, last week's episode ended off on a cliffhanger because Colin was uh, ready and willing to give up his deckhand position to June, who was getting let go because Anastasia was going back to the third stew because a new chef was coming in. But when talking to Captain Sandy, Colin was like, I think I'm going to leave. And Captain Sandy was like, no, you shouldn't do that. And Colin was persuaded to stay. June is vominos out of here. But in that same breath, Chef Ben comes onto the yacht. That's right, we get a new chef. It's Chef Ben. If you've been watching Below Deck Med or even just Below Deck in general, you know who Chef Ben is. He is quite a character and he's been doing catering business and traveling all over the globe, all over the United States, cooking for people, and now he's back to yachting, which he said he was been trying to get out of, but he is here in France with us on our TV screens, and he has two hours to get everything settled and ready to go, which, can I just say, is not enough time. In two hours, he has to know what's going on in the galley, where's everything put, uh, meet the crew, put his stuff down, also provisions are coming in. It's just not a good situation. That's how um, Hannah and himself, Ben, has come to this agreement that if he ever needs some help in the galley that he can call in Anastasia because she knows the galley like the back of her hand. Hannah's not super excited about because she wants her third stew back fully, um, but you have to respect the situation that Ben was thrown into. It's not the ideal situation. He hasn't had weeks to get uh, settled into this environment or this galley. Um, Anastasia's not liking it because she has like this PTSD thing of being in the galley again, but just get over it. The new charter guests have arrived onto the boat and they are ready for a good time and some lunch. And let me tell you right now, when Chef Ben was cooking up that lunch, I thought it was just like way too much food. I thought he was going above and beyond what he needed to do, but they were eating everything in sight and they were he was knocking it out of the park this chicken this uh giant prawns giant shrimp whatever they're called and he was just killing it and they even said wow i don't know how he's gonna go above and beyond this one fast forward to dinner and that's when everything got a little bit hairy that's when the burner situation that anastasia has been saying this whole time that the burners are not working and ben is seeing that firsthand in action speaking of anastasia i think being in the galley and then having that sense of relief of being out of the galley has really destroyed her mindset on what is it takes to be a third stew now because she kept on saying how rusty she was and that's like a self-fulfilling prophecy that she kept on saying to everybody it was like five minute montage of her just walking around like trying to turn on light switches in the room going oh, i'm so rusty i'm so rusty she was having some major mind relapses when going through the motions of the third stew and what what that all entails and then the woman, the head charter guest, asked for the uh, her dress to be steamed. And a Asia takes it, and she's like about to do it. And Anastasia's like, don't worry, I got your back. I'll do it when I do all the rest of the laundry. And then she just folds up everything. She like bundles everything up, throws it in there, puts them all in there. Or tied or gain a, a, a fabric softener sheet, and then she closes the thing and puts it on like tumble dry. That could ruin the whole dress, and that didn't help the situation going into the dinner. They had a banging lunch, they had a great day out, they've been drinking since the beginning of the day. They're so drunk, they've been he baking in the heat, they have heat exhaustion in their brain, and now they're super loud at dinner, yelling over each other, talking about wh whoever knows. But Ben is trying to get a feel of how they're liking dinner, and Hannah can't tell him anything because they're not listening to her and they're not talking to her. They're just like yelling over each other about their ex-husbands or their sons or their kids or how great the food is or something. And then Captain Sandy is asking them, and of course the rice is cold, uh, so more cold rice is coming out of the kitchen, but Ben is just like, we're just going to drop this off and we're going to keep on going with the course and just keep on moving on. But with all that being said, that's where this episode ends. And now I have to ask you, what did you think about this episode? Let me know that in the comment section below. What do you think about like that mid-season teaser? We got like a mid-season teaser. Now that we have pretty much the crew that we're going to finish up the season with, 
Um, we get another mid-season teaser of what to expect in the next episode and maybe a couple of episodes after that. And just when we thought maybe all the drama and all the pressure and all the craziness is kind of dying down, it's just ramping up as Travis's drinking goes to new heights or new lows, depending on how you're viewing it. And um, Anastasia, again, is having the lapse in judgment, the lapse of the, having brain farts as she oversleeps and uh, no service is being on this boat as guests are waking up. And then Colin looks, uh, he keeps on saying that he broke something. They're dragging anchor and then he's like on the deck and he's yelling that he broke it. What's it? We have to find out later in the season. But again, what do you think about that teasers? Let me know that in the comment section below. And what do you think about Chef Ben coming back? What do you think about June leaving? Do you think Captain Sandy made the right decision because it looked like June was on a bit of an uptick in doing the third stew duties and now Anastasia's kind of having this rusty feel. She's kind of like stumbling a little bit out of the blocks. Do you think Captain Sandy made the right decision by letting June go instead of Anastasia? Let me know that in the comment section below and do you think Hannah and Ben will play nice this season? Let me know that too. I want to hear anything and everything you have to say about the season and while you're down there hit that like and subscribe button. I'll be back really really soon with more reality TV show videos. Uh, this coming week, The Challenge, MTV's The Challenge, starts back up, and I'm going to be doing videos for that, and that's going to be coming out later this week. Also, next week, I'll have another Below Deck video about Season 4, Episode 14, so uh, be sure to tune in for that, but until then, peace.